it's Rebecca from Art Resin. I'm here once again, this time with Elena from Allure Decoration. Welcome. Thank you. And Elena, you have brought with you some amazing stuff today. I've never quite seen anything like some of your work, so that's exciting. And you are gonna show us how to do a flower-inspired coaster and whatever tips and tricks that you have. You'll let us know? I will try. Exciting. Great, let's get to it. So let's get started. Today we will start with our flower coasters. What we need to do, we just need to measure and mix our art resin. So let's take our resin, it's nice and warm. So we can mix it together. It doesn't matter which one will put first resin or hardener. The most important thing, it has to be equal by the volume not by the weight so we will just pour 200 of mils for resin and 200 of the hardener excellent let's start to mix it at least three minutes slowly but make sure it's mixed very very well you do want to scrape the sides and the bottom and just take your time. Sing a song or listen to your music. Even write a song. <laughs> I will use these molds today. We need a deep molds so the flowers will bloom. Okay, it mixed pretty well. Now we can just put it aside and let it sit for a while. The reason the resin needs to sit a bit, first of all, the more bubbles will come up, the less it will be in the mold. And the second of all, the resin has this quality of move when it's in the mold. So the more it sits, the more it becomes stable and we have a little bit more control of the desired picture we want to have at the end. Now let's choose our colors. We will get the blue and the purple for today flowers. So it was sitting for a while now, about 15 minutes. Let's torch some bubbles from the top. I using my heat gun. Just a bit, just a bit. Good. And now we can start to mix our colors. For our flower, we will need to separate just a tiny bit, I would say like around 30, 40 milliliters of the resin for our light blue and about 20 for our white. Even 20 will be too much. You can do it like between 10 and 15. And the purple we will use as it is. So let's shake the blue one. So we just add a little bit of blue and stir it up and see if you're happy with the color. If it's too light or you want to Make it more. And now we need to mix the white. And we will mix it very well. For the white, we just look for medium consistency and thickness. We want it to be thicker than the blue. So now we are ready to put the resin into the mold. Check your resin, feel it. It's, the temperature has to be warm, but not hot or not cold. That's how you know the resin is ready to go into the mold. We will just pour a little bit more than a half of the mold and try to get rid of the as much bubbles as we can. Let's take our 
gun and just go over some more bubbles will come up and we will take care of them as well next we will add some more resin to the mold Here's a little secret, it's actually very important the way you put the resin into the mold. You put it into the middle or you put it on the edges, it will completely change the way the resin will stabilize. For this particular flower, we will put it in the middle. Fly over it. Okay, and now we are ready for the fun part, decorating the flowers. Now it's a good time to create our centers. For that I chose the golden broken glass. This golden crux will go in the center. To dress up your center you can use the broken glass, you can use your glitters, you can use the natural stones, whatever is will be, look more beautiful and more suitable for your creation. Now let's just mix it together. Let's fly over it. Don't stay too long on one spot. It will damage the resin as well it will damage the mold. Now we can start to create some petals. Okay, now we can take our diluted blue resin and start to create some petals. You can do whatever you want with your design. This will not stay, it will move in and you will not see what you create right now after the resin is set. Let's fly with our heat gun over it. We will take our inks alcohol inks will help resin release more bubbles let the inks flow let's add some blue And maybe some more purple in the center. Now let's sit for a while. Now at this point we will prepare our white resin. For white resin I will use the piping bag. You can find it in a, any stores for baking or online and we will put our white mix into the piping bag. It's up to you how you want to draw your petals. I found it very convenient to use the bags. it all down and you need to fixate your end so it's not going out when you're pushing it we will need to cut a tiny bit of the end not too much and 
and let's fly again with the heat gun and start to create our white petals. So right now I can see we have lots of bubbles still into the mold. And in order to deal with it, I would like to add some glitter so it will mimic the bubbles and doesn't look too bubbly, just sparkly. It's up to you, some people don't like it, some people love it. Now we are ready and we will create some petals. I would love to start with the middle. And the shape of the petals and design of the flowers, it's completely up to you. The best way is to do is just to look at the nature, find the picture, or go out, see how it grows, and you will be creating the best flowers ever. Okay. You see how the white is sinking? We don't want it to sink too fast. We just want it to flow slowly toward the center and create beautiful petals. Let's see where we needed more. We will take the heat gun again, fly over. Now we are done and let's just sit it for a couple of more minutes before we shape it up. And now let's go in and shape some flowers with the toothpick. And a small one. I'm purposely bringing the purple out, but if you don't like it, you can just clean it. The resin start to move. It's look good. At this point, you can add some more if you see empty spaces. Okay, let's use a heat gun again. And now we are done. Now I would like to put some cover on top of it and leave it until tomorrow. Here we are 24 hours later, we are ready to unmold, let's take a look. Yay, it's look pretty good so far. Let's see what's on the other side. Let's see what we've got here. Oh. 
that's lovely. Look at that. This light blue goes into the darker blue and then purple. This is great flower. Let's see another one. This lovely as well. A little bit darker, but still pretty. The seed, it's not hard yet. It will take another day to become completely cured. So we are finished here for now. I'm very happy with the results and I hope you can create these beautiful flowers on your own right now. Elena, I love your work. You are so talented. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for us. I, I love that with resin, there's always something new to learn. For example, I didn't know how to do this. So thanks again. And please make sure that you subscribe, leave your comments so you never miss any of our resin artists. And uh, see you next time.